Thank you HubSpot for sponsoring this video. ChatGPT Code Interpreter is doing once we thought was impossible. It takes the raw data, analyzes it, and turns it into insights. Why do we need a human to now do the data analysis if a robot can do it? And the obvious question, will this AI innovation automate and replace data analysts and data scientist jobs? The idea of ChatGPT Code Interpreter plugin was introduced early in 2023, but the actual tool, the beta version, was introduced mid-2023. So only a few weeks ago. When it initially was introduced, it received a lot of hype because OpenAI introduced the plugin to everybody with some tutorial videos where they are using it to analyze data. So it immediately got a lot of attention and a lot of hype. I mean, data analysis is cool, so why wouldn't it get a lot of attention? There were so many YouTube videos, so many people were talking about how as soon as the code interpreter launches, this is going to be the end of data analysts and data scientists. And now that it is here, let's talk about if this is actually the end of data analysts and data scientist. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through actual data analysis example with Code Interpreter. And then both you and I can discuss if data analysts will be automated by Code Interpreter. Oh my God, the number of times I've said Code Interpreter, I don't even remember. <laughs> I just said it one more time. So the data that I'll be using, it's from Levels Out FII. I'm gonna link below where I downloaded the data from. So if you want to play along while I'm showing you the demo, feel free to use it. Feel free to download it and play it on your own. If you have the subscription, if you don't, don't worry. I'm gonna show you everything on the, my screen so you won't be missing out on anything. Anyways, okay, so let's get into it. I'm gonna present my screen so all of us can be on the same page. All right, so we're gonna go to chatgpt.openai.com. And once you land there, since I have already signed up for the subscription, uh, which you can see here. So I'm currently a Ch Chat GPT Plus member. I'm paying $20 a month to access the GPT-4 as well as the plugins, the code interpreter plugins, which is only available for paid users, like it says here. Okay, so once you have that Chat GPT Plus subscription, I go to here, Chat GPT-4, and here you can actually pick your plugins that you want to use. Uh, so I'm gonna pick code interpreter. So I picked it, and now, once I did that, there's this plus button that popped up. So on GPT 3.5, which is the default unpaid version, you don't see it. But when I switch and I click the code interpreter plugin, then I am able to see it. Okay, so now that we have it here, so I'm going to upload the data. So there are three versions of the file. It's the same data that I have. So I'm going to be uploading this data levels from levels.fii is the salary data across different tech roles and different companies and different locations. So I'm gonna click this and I'm going to say, can you summarize this data for me? So I'm gonna hit run. And now it's gonna take a little bit of time because this is a huge file. So it might take a little bit of time to process. One thing I have noticed is that when I upload bigger files, sometimes the code interpreter does the analysis and is able to give me summaries. But sometimes I just get this error, which is pretty odd. So I'm gonna try to refresh it and I'm gonna upload a smaller file so I can get it to work. So I created a separate file where I kept three roles. I kept data scientist, business analyst, and software engineer. There was no data analyst in the level of FII, so I just took business analyst as the data analyst, assumed. So I'm gonna do it this again. I'm gonna say, can you summarize this data for me? And let's see, this should be faster because this is less amount of data. Okay, so now it's working. It's uploading the file. Let's say show work. It's writing Python code in the back end, which is actually pretty cool because let's say if you don't even want to use the analysis, you just want the basic code you can actually have it write basic code for your data. This is where like it starts to like become really, really cool. The data set contains information about salaries and other related details for various roles. So remember, I did not tell it anything. I did not tell it what the data was about. I did not tell it like what exactly is in there. It was able to figure it out on its own. And it's now giving me information about the columns when what they hold, which honestly is pretty, pretty neat. And that's where the generative AI is coming into play. So basically it's giving me ideas for further analysis for the total comps. Are, yes, I think I will want that. So I wanted to do this. Can you provide basic stats? Total yearly compensation is this. Summarize data scientist salary by company. I think I should have said that. As we're doing this video, you will immediately start to notice that you actually need to know what you should be asking in order to like generate good answers. For example, here, I'm not asking good questions. Honestly, I think I could have done a better job. I'm not asking great questions, but I'm just going with the flow and this is going to be a typical user who is gonna be using this tool. And I'm doing that on purpose. I'm gonna say, can you visualize data scientist versus business analyst versus software engineer salary? 
So I think that's where it becomes really, really cool that it's able to give me visualized output of the data itself, which I think is amazing. On the topic of data visualization, I wanted to share this Excel template for creating visualizations, which could be super handy for data exploration ideas. It is created by HubSpot, who is also sponsoring this portion of the video. The template comes with two Excel files, basic and advanced. So you have plenty of visualization options to choose from. For example, let's say in my project, I want to see number of orders placed by timestamp. There are so many ways I can visualize it. And obviously I'll use Python functionality to do some exploration. But if I want to do some quick and dirty analysis, I can use any of these data visualizations to plot my data and find trends. Looking at all these plots is actually a good mental exercise to find the right graph that works for your data. I'm linking the Excel template in the description below. It's available to download for free. Now let's talk about if code interpreter will replace data roles. Now the question is if it's all it's doing is writing three lines of code in the back end, then if you are somebody who's working as a data analyst, or a data scientist should be able to write these three lines of code on your own. So now the question is, what is the incremental benefits to somebody who is already familiar with how to analyze data using these coding languages? And there might not be any incremental benefit unless these tools are super streamlined and this becomes part of toolkit for data analysts and data scientists. I guess where it will provide value is somebody who's not familiar with the data analysis techniques at all and is able to use this tool and analyze the data on its own. And even in that case, this tool is not there yet that it's able to like do more advanced analysis and able to like figure out what kind of like analysis to output. Even the visualizations, they are informative, but not really at the same time. I guess it all comes down to what kind of questions you ask it to answer. And in order to ask good questions, you actually need to know what you are looking for. For those of you who have been working in the data career and are working with different stakeholders that are in the non-data field, the problem is that most of the times they don't even know what they're looking for. <laughs> and this is going to sound bad, but like this this is actually true. A lot of the times the problems that come on my plate are like super ambiguous and I have to like dive deeper into it through questions and through a lot of discovery questions and trying to understand what exactly they're trying to solve, what is the exact problem. If you have watched the video till now, you should be able to tell if the data analyst jobs will be replaced by code interpreter or not. What did you say? You don't know? Well, let me help you. There is no denying that ChatGPT code interpreter is innovative this is something that did not exist before and to be able to analyze data as quickly as I was able to, it's just amazing. It's a great innovation indeed. It's innovative and it deserves the hype. But as you saw in my example, it was not easy to use the tool. I had to ask very good questions in order to get to a good answer. And I have over 10 years of experience working in the data science domain. Somebody who does not have that experience or is not exposed to the data career field too is going to have a hard time figuring it out. It's going to be almost like they are learning the data analysis and data scientist career path in order to use the tool. So now that brings me to the question, is this tool targeted toward data analysts and data scientists to make their job easier? Or is it targeted toward people who are not familiar with the data analysis techniques and they want to use it? In either case, I don't think this tool is there yet. If you are worried that code interpreter will replace your job or generative AI will replace your job, we are not there yet and it will be it will be almost impossible to take away all the human elements of a data analyst career and a data scientist career to automate that using generative AI or AI in general. Yes, probably the basic analysis, the basic visualizations, the basic table and data generation could be automated, but who is here to do basic work? We wouldn't have the jobs, data analysts wouldn't exist if all we were doing is just creating a pivot table and giving a number that is already existent in the file. And if you're doing that, then you should start thinking what you want to do next and how you can advance your skills. What are your thoughts? Do you think Code Interpreter will automate data analysts and data scientist jobs? Have you used it? What are your thoughts? And if you want to learn Python with the help of ChatGPT, you can watch this video next. That's all I wanted to say. I hope you're having a great day. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Honestly, this is a tongue twister, so I'm gonna try to <laughs> try. I wish I could give a nickname. Can I say nickname? Can I say it's CI? Code interpreter. Oh, it's gonna get confusing. So I'll just keep saying code interpreter. Pre oh my God. Code interpreter. <laughs>